What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bry, back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 9. I got a trailer breakdown for Episode 906, 907, and 908 because if you watched Episode 905, they gave you a trailer for the next three episodes, which is 906, 907, and 908. So obviously, spoiler warning for Episode 905. 906, 907, and 908. We don't know when this is gonna happen in these episodes, but we have the photos from the trailer and we're gonna break them down. But first, if you love The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead family, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to become a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family. We have a lot of fun here and we would love to have you be a part of it. And photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here, giving credit where credit is due. Season nine, episode six is the next episode. Who are you now? The survivors encounter unfamiliar faces outside the safety of their community's walls and must decide whether or not this new group can be trusted. So season nine, episode six, also from DirecTV. This has been going around, not sure who posted it, but thank you very much. It will be an hour and 20 minutes. And that synopsis says, six years after Rick's disappearance, a group of strangers test Alexandria's trust and patience. And before I get to the trailer, I have to say that episode 905 looks to be Andrew Lincoln and Lauren Cohen's last episodes this season. Andrew Lincoln is going to be in movies, playing Rick Grimes for different parts, Walking Dead movies, and Lauren Cohen will potentially come back, could potentially come back, hopefully potentially comes back later in the series, hopefully season 10, but right now, Lauren Cohan and Andrew Lincoln will not be in the rest of season nine. And we knew about Andrew Lincoln, but the Lauren Cohan news is kind of a shocker. There's the picture for episode 906 that's on amc.com. Michonne's got a new haircut, that's for sure. She looks pretty pissed, and we'll see why in a second. And if you saw the opening minutes, you see Daryl fishing, he caught some fish here, he kills a walker with the stick he's kind of stabbing in a pond. You see Michonne finding a box of things in an abandoned, broken down van. She finds a toy cowboy. That's a sheriff cowboy kind of thing, which is a clear connection to Rick. And the time jump, six years later, Michonne clearly misses Rick and so does everybody. But then we see Carol looking like Orlando Bloom from Lord of the Rings. That's just definitely a clear connection with the bow and arrow and the long gray white hair. Do you like the hair? Do you not? But Carol's got a new look. Then we see Judith, Judith Grimes. And I was thinking about Judith more and more after watching episode 905, and we'll see that she saves Magna at the end of episode 905. That's like a clear connection to Carl when Carl saved Sasha and Tyrese at the prison. Sasha, Tyrese were saved by Carl, Magna, Luke, Yumiko, and that group saved by Judith. Pretty interesting. Judith is a new badass character. We see Daryl probably with Aaron and Jesus. You'll see in a second. It looks like the picture in the thumbnail. He's looking at something. And I don't know if they're looking at the whispers or walkers or what. But Judith brings back Magna's group to Alexandria. You can see Aaron. You can see his prosthetic hand. It looks like Thanos' gauntlet, the Infinity Gauntlet. If you look at it, we'll look at it closer in a second. But it looks pretty funny. We see the cowboy toy sheriff thing connection to Rick. I'm sure Michonne brought that back for Judith. And I like Judith already. I kind of like the braid. I just like what they're doing with Judith and her saving Magna's group. Hopefully Magna's group is awesome. I want them to be a big part of the show. Magna, Luke, Kelly, Connie, Yumiko. Hopefully they bring a nice new dynamic to the show. Negan is still alive. We'll see he has a new haircut. I believe he's talking to Judith here. You can kind of see Judith's hat on the stairs. It looks like the same spot. I think Negan and Judith are talking. Will they become close or not? And would you want to see that? Magna and Michonne are clearly at odds with each other. Michonne doesn't trust these people. I feel like Michonne is regressing to season three when she was cold. She was new to the group. She didn't really trust Rick and they didn't really trust her. I think that's what we're getting here. I think Michonne's like, look, I don't know who you are. I don't care who you are. I miss my rookie Grimes, like we all do, I don't care what you want, and you better not test me, because I'll put you down. And we see a lot more walkers. We saw a lot of walkers in the first four or five episodes of season nine, definitely the fifth episode for sure. But the whispers are coming, and when are they coming? Hopefully sooner rather than later. I would love to think episode 906. You can see Eugene and probably Rosita there. I can't tell if that's Rosita, but Eugene's ponytail. Pretty interesting ponytail man here. He's out and about killing walkers. He's not afraid anymore. He's stepping up. 
he's killing walkers maybe he's protecting rosita maybe they're together maybe they're not because if you know the comics you know rosita and eugene get together rosita gets pregnant will we see that will we not we just don't know the water tower something here it doesn't look like to be the same water tower at hilltop it's way higher not sure if they're putting the amplifier on this water tower to boost the signal for the radio if you saw the sneak peek clip you can see rosita and father gabriel talking about the radios to reach more people michonne's kind of running things and they're not sure if michonne will be okay with that but father gabriel's like look we can reach other people we can reach more people who else is out there there's got to be more people out there right eugene father gabriel the radio connection with the commonwealth coming potentially not sure what this is. It's somebody in the woods. I'm not sure if it's Daryl or somebody running away from the whispers or what's happening here. It's just tough to see, but somebody's clearly running in the woods. Then we see the same scenes basically from the San Diego Comic-Con trailer over the summer with Eugene and Rosita. And I believe it's a shovel. Some people think it's a cane, but I think it's a shovel that Eugene throws down. They put the mud on their face and they're hiding. You can see they're scared, but it's a little different angle. I hope this is episode 906, and I hope the whispers initially come around in episode 906 with Alpha and Lydia coming in maybe episode 908, potentially 908 or 909, I would think would be around there. Maybe the mid-season finale, we get the introduction of Lydia and Alpha somewhat, or probably just Lydia, but we'll see how they actually play it out. It might be a little remix, they said, but you can see the walkers and the whispers among them walking on the path where you can see Eugene and Rosita hiding, and they look scared, they look terrified. Clearly something's going on here. It could be the same connection when they were in the woods before when Eugene was killing the walker. I think this is the spot where you can see Daryl, Jesus, and Aaron looking on into the walkers and they're not sure what's going on here. Could be the whispers. It's probably the whispers coming together in a field, a group area. But here's a great shot of the thumbnail too. And if you look at Daryl, and Jesus and Aaron, you can see Jesus got the man bun, he's got the armor, but if you look at Aaron's hand, to me it just looks like a gauntlet, and the affinity gauntlet from Thanos, and clearly it's not, but it's a prosthetic hand that's going over there, it's not the claw hand that Rick had, and maybe he has that, but I would think CGI cost, green screen and all that is not cost effective, that's why they didn't do it to Rick, because it would cost way too much money for Rick Grimes to have a fake hand every episode. But we'll see Jesus and Aaron talking. Maybe there's a little romance here, maybe not. But Jesus looks like the comic Jesus at this point around issue 127, 130, when Jesus saves Magna. There, he's got the same comic look. If you look closely here, you can see a dog, which I think belongs to Daryl. I think Daryl finally gets a dog. Norman Reedus has wanted a dog on the show for a long time, and hopefully he gets that. And I know a lot of people want him to be with Carol, but we'll take something, right? But I think Norman, well, Daryl, gets the dog. And it's probably Daryl, Jesus, and Aaron going after the Whispers or the Walkers or see what's going on here. I would assume it's after Eugene and Rosita come back saying what happened and connecting the dots with the Whispers. But you can see Aaron looks concerned. And we don't have the spoilers just yet, but I'm just trying to put two and two together. But I would assume that the Walkers and the Whispers are coming very, very soon. And I would assume the Whispers will be among these people. And I wonder who gets taken out by the Whispers. That's a big thing. Thing. but you can see some walkers being blocked by bricks and it's probably Aaron, Jesus, and Daryl running away from them or maybe they get spotted by the whispers and something but I haven't seen a whisperer yet and we all have high hopes for them but the casting of Alpha, Lydia, and Beta should be pretty awesome. Luke, Magna, Yumiko, Connie, Kelly, they're brought back to Alexandria. That's clearly Rosita I would assume based on the hair but they come back to Alexandria and Judith brings them back and Michonne doesn't like that but again I said it before in another video Judith's like 10 years old how is she going out and saving Magna's group by herself Judith is awesome already but it's a little far-fetched to think a 10 year old is running the show is doing everything she is alone in the woods there's walkers everywhere evidently too but Judith saved Magna, brought him back to Alexandria, and Michonne is not happy about it. Michonne does not want these people here. Michonne's got enough to worry about, let alone these people and what they want, and if she can trust them. And I feel for Michonne there too. Hilltop is going to be run by who? We just don't know yet. But is it going to be Jesus? Is it going to be someone else? Because Aaron looks to be at Alexandria. Who's running Hilltop? Because Maggie's potentially gone, most likely. We see this interesting picture here which I think is pretty interesting for a couple reasons. You see DJ with the bag. He was a savior. He's with Michonne. 
you can see Michonne, DJ, Magna, Yumiko, Luke, Connie. I, I can't tell who's the person in the back, but Connie and Kelly and Magna's group. And Michonne is taking her sword out ready to go attack, but no one else really has their weapons ready. And we're not sure what Daryl's looking at. There's no way to tell, but it's probably in the woods. It could be connected with Aaron and Jesus and the dog and something there. I just don't know what's going on. There's really no way to tell. Here's a good shot of Henry, older Henry. Yes, six-year time jump. Henry's going to be around 16, 17 years old. He's going to be connected with Lydia is the word. Henry is talking to Carol, and that is the older Lynn's child that is actually connected with Max and Lynn's who played younger Henry, but... Carol with the long hair talking with Henry. I guess she's in the mother role and Ezekiel's the father role. So you got the king and queen and the prince of the kingdom. Then we see Alexandria, the windmill. It's been there for a while, but we haven't seen it on screen. And with the six year time jump, I guess they built it for power and for some use of Alexandria. So the windmill should be seen in the next coming episodes. Then we see Negan with the tennis ball. Is the tennis ball going to the dog? Is it going to Judith? Is it going to someone else? I would assume it's Judith because I want to see Judith and Negan interact and I think we're going to get that. Negan has a haircut. We clearly see him the first four, five episodes. He was in the dark. He was in the shadows. We didn't see him. He's still alive. He looks much better. He's taking care of himself. We'll see if he's going to be sticking around. And who breaks him out? Is it Judith? Does he trick Judith to let him out? Or is it someone in Magnus group or someone else? And I wonder what's going on here. Are these whispers? Is Daryl, Aaron, and Jesus following them here? Is this something to do with Lydia, Alpha, Beta, the Whispers? No way to tell, but I hope so. Rosita looks scared. She's bleeding from her forehead. I'm not sure if she was attacked by the Whispers. What if Eugene and Rosita are attacked by the Whispers? And that's the first introduction. It looks that way, but we have to wait and see. And then we see Kelly here with a slingshot that she kills a walker with. I don't know if it's a rock or something, but she fires the object through the walker's skull. And to me, it reminds me of Bart Simpson and the slingshot, but it's pretty badass if you got a slingshot that can kill walkers. And here is Jesus kicking ass. He's got his armor on, he's got his man bun, and he's probably killing walkers like the comic version of Jesus that I would love to have on the show. He's twirling around, he's swinging around, he's throwing kicks and punches, and he's jabbing walkers, and he's killing walkers, and I believe this is the whisper fight scene that could potentially be very bad news for Jesus. If you know the rumors and the spoilers from a lot of the sites and the Spoiling Dead fans, then it might be true about Jesus this season. But we have to wait and see, so there you go, there's my breakdown. There's the Infinity Gauntlet that Aaron is wearing. Yes, I'm just joking. But it's funny because Ross Marquand was in Infinity War. He was the Red Skull. Hopefully he'll come back around in that role for another movie. But what do you think, guys? What do you make of season nine, episode six, seven, and eight potentially? Because we don't know what the order of these events are, what we're going to see, what we're going to do. Negan, Judith, Magna, Yumiko, everything coming together. New characters, new look for some characters. What do you think? What do you make of it, guys? I'm excited for episode 906, 907, 908. And remember, guys, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. I always want to hear what you say, what you think. And remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it.